Hey guys, it's Time Time Logan back. Second video of the day. Uh, it's getting late and uh, pretty much I uh, want to bring all you YouTubers and all the subscribers to channel in a little bit of, uh, on a loop of something. Um, pretty much because I'm just getting ready to kick off with something for me for a change. Now a lot of you have been, or quite a few comments have said, oh we started watching you because of your rigs. Now I've got to get uh, this out of the way for myself and then my HTPC done to try and get some kind of normality back into my life since I've moved to my new place. But then after that I have got a rig planned for me and it is going to be kind of what you'd expect. There's going to be a lot going on with it, it's, it's going to be a a mod, probably going to be the best one that I've done if all goes to plan. But anyway, the video today is about my server. Half Raid was started last year um, and then all the stuff with moving and stuff happened and it kind of just got pushed to one side. Now, long story short is Half Raid is now dead. Uh, the, uh, the half itself I got rid of. Um, the bits inside I decided I wanted to upgrade them. And so a new project has started. Um, now I've got all the bits now, and I'm kind of sat beside what's started so far. So I'm running through the bits that I've got. Um, motherboard in it is not that one. I picked the wrong box up. So many Asus boxes around all over the place. <laughs> Um, motherboard in it is a P7H57V Evo. It's H55, H57 rather. A processor in it, see the box. Processor in it is an i3530. I will explain all of this later on why I picked these bits. But essentially, I wanted cool and quiet. Uh, and as it's only going to be a nav straight file server for home, didn't need a massive amount of processing power. Um, now the uh, cooler is a what I've just reviewed on Overclock 3D. It's the NHC12 PSE14. Silent, but it also directs all the air down at the uh, motherboard, so managed to keep everything quiet. The uh, case fans that are in it are NF12SBs. Again, from Noctua. Thanks very much, Noctua. They sorted me out big time. Um, now I've got. You can see these boxes here. These are icy boxes and they're the IB554 series. Now they're back planes. I will do a full review on these later on. But essentially it's hot swap phase. So you put your drive in, clip clock, job done. They're cooled and everything as well. Now you might be thinking to yourself, why the bloody hell have you got three of them icy box? Because they hold, they hold four hard drives each. There's a good reason. Look at that lot! That lot is uh, 12 Samsung spin point, 1 terabyte F3 drives, so uh, 12 terabytes in total. But, just in here, you can see the little Knight Rider light fling going backwards and forwards. That's my Adaptec RAID card. Now it's a 51245. 12 port internal rake card. Uh, you can put four more on the outside with SAS expanders if you want, but long and short of it is it's a excuse me, 12 port rake card. It's got a 1.2 gigahertz dual core chip on the rake card as well. 512 meg of uh, RAM. Uh, so yeah, oh, PCR Express 8. So plenty of bandwidth, plenty of speed. Hopefully, I'm going to uh, get some good throughput on these. Now, looking in the rig, you can probably see that there's no graphics card. And the reason why is because I decided to go with the onboard of the, uh, and it's why I picked H57 and the i3, to go with the integrated, because uh, it saves my uh, PCI Express lanes on the board, because I've only got 16 in total to play with on this. Um, later on, there will be a uh, network card added in there as well, and it's a four port network card. I've got coming gigabit uh, can do up to uh, two meg uh, or two thousand megabits a second, however you want to put it. Anyway, each way on each port, so she's fairly swift. 
Um, but this is, oh, I've got a 650 watt Corsair HX650 in there and dangling off of it at the moment is an OCZ 120 gigabyte solid state drive. Now you might say, oh, solid state drive and a server, yeah you're right, but it's because what I've done is I've used the Utgard because it's small, very compact, um, but it's going to do the jobs that I want because it's got all the drive bays down it. If and when I ever want to upgrade, I can just upgrade the case. Uh, memory wise I've got 4 gigabyte of G Skill Eco and it's the 1.3 volt 1600 megahertz stuff. Uh, so yeah that's the kind of core for my server at the moment. I will be back doing uh, videos because pretty much what I'm going to do with this is it's going to be my DHCP server as well. So it's going to be uh, controlling all the IP addresses. I'm going to set it up as uh, the firewall for my network at home. Um, and I'm going to have user account so different people can see different things. Pretty much this is my way of me getting in and getting my hands dirty with networking for a change because uh, yeah it's just been something that I've wanted to do for a long time and now I've finally got all the bits here. Uh, it's running uh, Windows Server 2008 R2 as you can see up here and all the reviews will be based in that and all, everything that's going to be done in R2. Um, yeah, I'd very much like to know what you guys think of this. Uh, I, the last time I put the server videos up, it was quite popular. There was a lot of people falling on it from like the professional community. Um, I would like to hear your thoughts and your experiences as well, because this is very much a learning um, process for me. So I would like your feedback, and I, do you know what I mean? If I'm doing something wrong, or you think you know you should try this, then please do, because I'm up for all the little tweaks. Um, yeah, really am, um, do you know what I mean, I, pretty much I'm going to be doing this anyway and I'm just trying to share it with you so you guys can see what I'm up to. But once we've done this, we've done the HTPC, um, I'll probably do the video of around the flat, it's all a bit mental here at the moment, I do mean mental, we've got shower going in, new shower going in, it's all tiling and all bloody electrics and yeah, it's crazy. Um, and I've got some quite exciting videos for you coming up in the future. Um, with other little reviews and stuff that I've got coming in. Um, for the regulars and the ones that are normally watch every single one of my videos, Google Vision Racer. Um, and yeah, first thing that you hit, click on it, that's coming. It's in my front room, sat in front of my telly at the moment. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing a video on that. Uh, I might do a, get my mates around and have a bit of a lads night, but there's plenty to come. But yeah, that's the start of the TTL server. And I wouldn't mind a name for it. I was going to call it the Silly Storage Server. Um, but I'm open to ideas. Anyway, second video of the night. I'm off to play with Server 2008 now. Um, and set some of these drives up in RAID to see what I can start to get. But anyway, Tiny Tom Logan out.